Good evening, folks. Sometimes we can just keep our mouths shut and let the sun speak for himself. What a beautiful solar eruption. This was produced by an X-ray solar flare that occurred in a sunspot group turning out of view, an M3 class eruption. It produced a level 1 radio blackout under the sunlit side of Earth as our upper atmosphere was ionized by the event. Let's watch the umbral fields connecting the sunspot shift and expand. With this many fields in such a small area, a lot of movement is a recipe for electromagnetic explosions. The coronal mass ejection, or CME, is heading away from Earth, so there will be no space weather alert from this event. Then, a few hours later, another solar flare erupted. This was an M4 eruption, but unlike the first flare, this was an impulsive event, very short-lived, and so it is far less likely to create a CME. Just like with the first event, there was a radio blackout under the sunlit side of Earth with this one as well. Indeed, there was no CME from this impulsive flare. No big CME like last time. It's the difference between this and this. In other space weather news, the solar wind peaked out just after the news posted this morning, and the speed is waning back down now. The magnetic storm is slowly subsiding too. We may get some reverberations overnight, so northern Europe, Canada, and Alaska be on alert for auroras continuing. Again, the Earth-facing portion of our star is calm. The spots are either departing or magnetically separated or just growing now today. Also got some small spots on the limb incoming to face this way. It is March the 2nd, 2015, and while the Earth-facing solar quiet continues, the higher activity on the limbs and backside continues as well. We had an M3 and M4 solar flares, one large CME. If that one had been Earth-facing, it might have registered even higher on the flare monitors. Eyes open. No fear. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.